Pepeo.
Thank you and welcome here to Lobster Bash for the car show. My name is Al Dupuy and I do a mixture of music. <laughs> What's the volume like? Is that okay there? No trouble? Back home, 
Distortions are right there. <laughs> so uh, balance the boat, boat, boat right there. Uh, yeah. Heard him 
little warden just before he reached my cell. Let my guitar begin friend do my request. Let him sing me back home to a song I used to hear. Haggard, my favorite country artist. My two favorite country artists were Hank Williams Sr. and Merle Haggard. I got into the music business, I decided to learn lots of styles because that's what I like. I grew up on country and fiddle music because my father was a fiddler. And then uh, when the Beatles hit, when I was 13, I guess it was, somewhere in there, then of course I got into some rock and then uh, 
when I got into university, Cat Stevens hit, and of course, uh, James Taylor. So, um, you know, it's just different styles that I like. And uh, this is something by John Denver. Well, almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, China. trees, younger than the mountains, growing like a breeze, country road, take me home, to the place. That's all right there, don't change anything. Okay. When I kick the distortion, is it too loud? No, it's, it's about right. So this being a car show, 
This is a car song. Well, actually, it's a truck song, trucker song. Transportation. I met the fellow that uh, recorded it, actually. He played in a, in a bar in Fredericton that I used to play in. And he came in there with his band and put on a show. Actually, when, uh, when he recorded this song, uh, sort of along the same time as uh, C.B. Savage and that kind of, remember that stuff that came out there? The breaker, breaker, one line, there's, there's a rubber duck, you get a copy on my pig pen, come on. <laughs> Dave Dudley.
I certainly haven't seen as many concerts as Roddy Spates has, I don't think, but I've seen a few. You've seen your share, that's for sure. My good friend Roddy in the audience there, he's a great drummer, phenomenal drummer. I'm going to go over and see him play one of these days. I hear great things about him. He's certainly seen more concerts than I, but I've seen a few, and I've seen uh, uh, Burton Cummings, I've seen Merle Haggard, George Jones, uh, Chris Christopherson. Um, Paul McCartney was my favorite. Yeah, I saw him in 2000, was it 9? I think it was 2009, I think, in the Commons. And I saw um, Janelle and Cameron in concert in the Playhouse in Fredericton. That was a great concert. <laughs> song by Chris Christopherson, whom I saw in concert. That's a flat in Baton Rouge, just before it rains, feeling nearly faded as my jeans. Thumb the diesel down just before it rained. Took us all the way to New Orleans. Took my old high boot out from my dirty red bandana. I was blowing sad while Bob sang the blues. When the wind chill while it's loving time and Bob is Holding mine, sang out every song the driver knew. Freedom, just another word for nothing left to lose. Nothing ain't worth nothing, but it's free. Feeling God was easy, Lord, then my father sang the blues. California song Bobby shared the secrets of my soul And stand and ride beside her road Everything that I've done Every night she kept me from the cold And somewhere near Selena's Lord I let her slip away Searching for the home I hope she'll find Oh, I'll give all of my tomorrows for a single yesterday Holy Bob is morning next to mine Freedom just another word for nothing left to do It was easy. 
Me and Bobby McGee. Irene, how you doing, pal? Getting hot, getting hot sitting there, wasn't it? Oh, I knew what you was doing. I, oh, yeah, as I said, I'd have done the same thing. <laughs> I agree with you. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. There's never been a place that I have ever been to that I uh, love more than Cape Breton. It's just one of them things. Uh, first time I went there, probably 20 years or so ago, maybe more. I just fell in love with the place. Love the people, love the music. So here's a, a tune by a famous group from there. Yeah. 
Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you, Shirley. Thank you very much. Lila, here's a song for you. Lila is a huge Beatles fan. So am I. If I had to rank my top groups of all time in rock, I'd go probably Beatles first. I probably, it's a toss up between the Stones and the Eagles for second, so either one doesn't really matter. And then CCR would be in there probably four, maybe. Fogarty, maybe Elton John, five, I don't know. But the Beatles are at the top anyway. When I was lucky enough to see McCartney at the Commons, he did three encores. It's amazing. Were you there? You didn't go to that one. He did three encores. The show, the total show lasted two hours and 50 minutes. 
He played for about two hours, a little over two hours, 50,000 people, and then he, his encores took him almost 50 minutes. <laughs> he did uh, Mulligan Dyer with the pipe band. The pipe band came on and did Mulligan Dyer with him. Fogarty uh, in the uh, Metro Center, I guess it was. I wish I had gone to see uh, Seeger. You went, didn't you? Yeah, I wish I'd have gone to that. I guess it was unreal, huh? Yeah, I saw it. Bob Seeger, something else. And so is Fogarty. I mean, wow. That guy crossed over. I mean, every radio station was playing him. From country to rock to you name it, I mean, wow, his music. Something else. He's a, just a kind of a little medley, I guess I'll just kind of throw at you here, of a, a little bit of Fogarty.
So, no complaints about the volume? Is it the volume all right? Not not bothering anybody? No trouble. few people are aware of this, but uh, when Fogarty released the song, the album, the, the Blue Ridge Rangers in the 80s, I think it was right around the same time as Dire Straits' Brothers in Arms, I think. He released Centerfield from there, he did uh, Rock and Roll Girls, Jambalaya. I don't know if you're aware of this, but the Blue Ridge Rangers was one man. He played every single instrument in his basement. So when you hear center field again, or you hear rock and roll girls, or, or jambalaya done by, uh, by Fogarty, he played every single instrument.
Thank you very much. Good. Be back with you shortly, thanks. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Sounds good, man. Is it okay? Yep. I like your little setup. It's pretty good. Cool. Well, it's not much. It's just. I'm trying to get into the home. It's just a. Uh, just the Elisa's drum machine. Yep. Very good. It's a standard one, just a basic one. It's the SR16, yep. which is the one without the base. And then the Vocal Slide 3. Cool. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, I have the uh, uh, harmonizer at home. Thank you. Yeah. Three part harmony. Yeah. Yeah. Yours yeah, is nice and clean. So, uh, Mine sounds okay? Yeah, it sounds really good. Really nice. Yeah. Very good. So you wouldn't change anything? Nope, sounds great, but yeah, it's basic. It's very distortion basic. Distortion in there when you do your riffs and stuff and that. It's nice. It well, yeah, that's why you yep. included the distortion. Can't get the rock feel without it, yep. really. Nope. Nope, sounds good. Appreciate it. Cool. Drop out sometime, yeah? Now, we got to head out, so we're going to. Yeah. There's a. We're doing a client of mine from sanding her floors and decorating her house years ago. Yeah. I stayed in touch with her, so her husband passed away. They're doing a dedication bench tour down in Gilbert's Cove at the Lighthouse. Okay. Did I ever give you one of these guys? So we're going to run down to that for a bit and see them. Anyway, uh, yep. let me give you a call and I want to pop over and yep. see what you got. You know Some nights my girlfriend works nights and it's good to come out. Like she leaves at 6.30 or something. And I'm usually in on the room. Have I met her before? That's when I usually do it. One of the room.